Warm water coral reefs are some of the most magical, lively habitats on Earth. Usually, the creatures that live on coral reefs and the reefs themselves thrive in a state of dynamic equilibrium. Up and down the food chain, competition among predators and prey creates diversity and balance. But sometimes, it all goes wrong. And one population threatens the entire ecosystem. For reefs in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, this is public enemy number one, the crown of thorns starfish, named for its bristling helmet of sharp, venomous spines. Where other starfish have five arms, the crown of thorns or COTS for short, has between 14 and 21. On hundreds of hydraulically powered tube feet, it moves fast for a starfish, 20 meters an hour, and it can grow as large as a meter in diameter. Here's a COTS at work. First, it positions itself on top of live coral. Then, it extrudes its stomach through its mouth smothering the coral. Next, it secretes digestive enzymes and absorbs the dissolved tissue externally. Each night, the nocturnal cots can eat its own body area in coral. That adds up to, on average, 13 square meters of reef per year. During population spikes, clusters of cots consume corals faster than they can grow and reproduce they change vibrant ecosystems into lifeless gray graveyards. To make matters worse, cots are more fertile than any other invertebrate in the world. One animal can produce hundreds of thousands of eggs at one time. The larvae will settle on the bottom, grow into a juvenile starfish, and eventually, two or three years later, they start eating coral, and you have what are called outbreaks. When you have outbreaks, you can have thousands of these starfish moving through an area, and they can eat pretty much everything in their path. And they're eating corals that are 100, 200, 300 years old in a period of a week or two. All told, only cyclones and mass bleaching events are more destructive to coral reefs than the crown of thorns starfish. But something can be done. This trumpet triton is eating a cots. For tritons and other gastropods, such as the helmet snail, cots are a key food source. Wrasse, triggerfish, and pufferfish also feed on cots. On a healthy reef, predators keep cots populations in check. Over-harvesting these predators is one contributor to outbreaks. A more direct cause is sewage and agricultural runoff. This runoff is a nutrient bonanza for plankton, which is what cots larvae eat. That means more larvae survive to adulthood. So, the best defenses against cots outbreaks are a healthy, diverse ecosystem and clean water. When scientists can't prevent an attack, sometimes they can mitigate one by taking matters into their own hands. This is a reef near Fiji in the South Pacific. Here, while performing a reef survey, divers from the Khalid bin Sultan Living Oceans Foundation encountered a COTS crisis. They decided to intervene and collected hundreds of Crown of Thorns starfish. When they returned to their ship, scientists placed them in a container of fresh water where they died from lack of oxygen.
Reefs can recover from crown of thorns attacks, but the speed of recovery depends on several factors. Water quality must be good, or the reef may survive only to be attacked again. The reef must be biologically diverse and support COTS predators. And there must be enough coral left after the attack to reseed damaged areas. Recovery can take decades. But with luck and good management, a balanced, vibrant reef can be born again.